guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video like promised like i said in the other video i'll be doing a review on my very 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 small collection of a reenactment gear and if you guys hear any voices in the background just ignore it okay so first thing like you've probably seen the video if you haven't it's uploading right now as i'm making this video is german world war one cap and we're gonna wear this for the rest of the video because it's new, so I want to get some use out of it. All right, first thing we have here. So in World War One, very, 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 very early, like the beginning of the war, some soldiers would have to use flint and lock muskets. And I did some field repairs. So some soldiers would have to use this but you couldn't see it very often. But trust me, this was used on the battlefield. I have Googled it and researched a lot. So, yep, we got my World War I German or American or British uh, musket. All right, moving on to what keeps us alive in the trench. So the enemy won't shoot us because we take them down. Right ass. The sniper. I think I made a video on this before. Right, right, right. Guys, just ignore that gun, please. I'm, I'm very sorry, but I mean, I don't have no other choice. So this is the sniper. Um. There's a little hut. It's not very comfortable in the trench. And so there's this little hut where you're kind of like hunched down and your knees are on the dirt. It's not comfortable at all, but you get used to it when you're in pants. So you're just looking and you're as low as this, like where your hat, kind of towards where your hat would meet or your helmet, and you shoot. So this, Sniper. If I ever make a World War One German trench video, you guys will see this. I promise. All right, moving on to the trench club. I have also made a video of this. Yeah. So what I did was I took a baseball and took some duct tape and duct taped the ball to the stick. It feels exactly like a real World War I one. So, I'm gonna put that down. It's hot, it's hot, it's made of wool, so yeah. So we got the trench club with the duct tape handle. Can't really use this if we were going to do a reenactment of the trench. Just because this would hurt bad. All right. As you guys seen, doing what we really. We'll just attach these on real quick. Doesn't really fit, but. Yep, this is the German World War One helmet. And as you see, the eagle is actually wearing the helmet. And we'll go to the back. Very nice helmet. I got it for six dollars on Amazon, so guys, if you're just getting into reenacting and you have a trench and stuff, use this. It's worth the six dollars, trust me. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'm going to give you guys a tip. I am getting a World War One whistle and a World War One Brody helmet. And so I'll see you guys in the next one.